If you've ever wanted your Cloud Assistant to directly interact with web content, then you'll appreciate the MCP server we're going to build in today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to build a web scraping tool for Cloud Desktop using the Model Context Protocol in Python. Model Context Protocol is an open source standard that Anthropic released in late 2024. It basically lets AI models interact with external data sources through a unified interface. The main thing it does is address the problem of fragmented integrations by giving us a universal protocol for connecting AI systems with different data sources. Let's talk about some real world business applications where MCP can make a big difference. In customer support, for example, you could connect an AI chatbot to a Zendesk MCP server. When a user asks a complex question, the AI can dynamically pull knowledge-based articles to deliver precise answers, all without custom coding. This is huge for reducing support costs while improving customer satisfaction. Another common use case is internal knowledge management. Companies struggle with employees spending excessive time searching for data. With an MCP server for your database, employees can use natural language commands like show Q1 sales in Texas, and the MCP server automatically generates the required SQL query. This makes data much more accessible for everyone. Right now, when ChatGPT and Gemini browse the web, they only get a limited pass of websites. They might see some snippets or summaries, but they can't really process the full content of pages. Not ideal when you need comprehensive analysis. The model context protocol helps solve this by giving us a universal way for AI applications to talk to external systems. What makes MCP really powerful is that it can connect to servers running right on your local machine. This means you can develop custom tools tailored to your specific needs and make them available to your AI assistant. In our case, we're going to create a web scraping tool that addresses one of the biggest limitations of ChatGPT and Gemini. Our tool will allow Cloud to extract the entire content from websites, not just snippets or summaries. This gives the AI much more comprehensive context to work with. This is going to be a beginner-friendly tutorial aimed at users who just want to enhance Cloud Desktop's capabilities by giving it the ability to extract and process information from web pages. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need Cloud Desktop installed on your computer, some Python knowledge, and a code editor of your choice. If you don't have Cloud Desktop installed, you can download it from cloud.ai. And the best thing is, you can run the MCP tools even if you're on a free subscription. To get started, launch a terminal and run the command to install MCP, Beautiful Soup, and HTTPX Python libraries. Now in your code editor, create a Python file and name it something like mytools.py, something easy to identify that indicates the purpose of the toolset. Right here are my YouTube MCP tools from the YouTube server. In Cloud Desktop, we can add multiple MCP servers to group different tools. In the script, import all the necessary packages. The key packages here are beautiful soup and HTTPX to download and clean up the page content. The web browser package is optional. We will create an optional tool to give Cloud Desktop the ability to open a URL in your browser. To set up the MCP server that Cloud Desktop will communicate with, initialize an instance of FastMCP with a server name and specify the dependencies needed for the tools to function properly. You can think of a server name as a group name. You can create multiple MCP server with different tools attached to Cloud Desktop. To open a URL in the browser, define a function called open page in browser that takes a URL as input and use the web browser module to launch the default browser with that URL. 
Then use the MCP tool decorator to register the function as a tool that Cloud Desktop can access. Now to extract text from web pages, create another decorative function called Extract Web Content that handles the web scraping functionality. This gives Cloud Desktop the tool access to perform the web scraping task. And that's all we need to write to create the functions. This step is optional. To test the tool in the MCP development environment, on your terminal, run MCP dev command followed by the Python file name. In the console output, look for the inspector URL and open the link. Click connect to connect to the MCP server. On the top, go to tools. Click list tools to expose the tools that are available in the server. Here we can see that both open page in browser and extract web page context tools are listed. Select the extract web page content tool. In the URL input, enter a web address and run the tool to make sure it works. Do the same thing to test the open page in browser tool. Once all the tools are tested, terminate the session. To install the MCP server along with the tools to cloud desktop, type MCP install followed by the Python file. If there is no error, that means the installation is successful. Restart the cloud desktop. Now from the available MCP tools, you should see the two tools are listed under the My Tools MCP server. In the Cloud Desktop, let's try it with a page from Google Gemini's release updates. And it looks like the release notes are hidden from the request call. With some websites, they might have anti-bot detection to prevent pages being scraped. Let's try a different page. And this time, Cloud Desktop is able to use the extra web page content tool to parse the entire page content which can be used as knowledge context to enhance the model's response. That concludes this cloud desktop tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.